is the pelvic study of a 36 year old parous femur female and uh, her right o uh, left ovary has been removed. You see this is the urinary bladder in transfer section. This is the urinary bladder in transfer section. Okay. And uh, the longitudinally this is the uterus. In longitudinal section, measuring 8.0 centimeter in length, 4.1 centimeter in AP diameter, which is normal in dimension. This is the endometrial canal in proliferative phase. This is the cervix and this is the cervical canal. Small amount of fluid is seen in the cervical canal. This is the cervical canal. This is the anterior segment. This is the posterior segment. So this is the urinary bladder. So in longitudinal section, the uh, outer surface of the uterus is normal, smooth, regular. Intermetal canal is normal. No myometrial mass is seen. Cervix is normal in size. Though some small amount of fluid is seen in the cervical canal. Now you see two cystic areas. I am showing you two cystic areas. which is the bladder and which is the pathology. Which is the urinary bladder and which is the pathology. I am in the transfer section. This is now, now I am in the longitudinal section. You are seeing uterus along with two cystic areas, which is the pathology and which is the urinary bladder. Now answering this question is very simple. First of all, you try to take picture of You try to uh, uh, go transverse. This is, you know, uh, this is the cystic area in transfer section. So let's move it into transfer section and then again into longitudinal section. A cyst, you know, will not change its shape. That is the first criteria, criteria for the cyst. And here you see it change, this cystic area changes its shape which is consistent with the, called, with the urinary bladder. Second thing is, if you will ask the patient to micturate, this cystic area, whichever will be the urinary bladder, will disappear and one will remain. So, however, with experience, I can tell you this is a cyst. This is the right ovarian cyst. Does it fulfill the criteria? First criteria of a cyst that it does not change its shape. Now, I have moved the probe almost. 180 degrees again back so this cystic area does not change its shape it retains its globulous shape and moreover second criteria do we see posterior acoustic enhancement from the cystic area yeah here this is the posterior acoustic enhancement this is the strong back wall so this is an ovarian cyst, right ovarian cyst. It's simple in a sense that there is no debris, no septation, no calcification seen in the cyst. Marginal or internal, no calcification. And it's in the right adenexa. Left ovary has been removed previously and it measures. 6.7 centimeters into 5 centimeters. So any cystic area in the female patient that is ovarian and that exceeds a dimension of 5 centimeters is considered to be, some say up to 10 centimeters once you watch and wait and see. However, when you find a cyst that measures
more than 5 cm, it should be followed up frequently. So as it, it, infection may not develop or the second complication that may develop is the Torian ovarian cyst. In which no fluid is seen in the pelvic cavity. No fluid is seen in the pelvic cavity. So this is a simple ovarian cyst of five, more than five centimeter size. 